Welcome back guys. Today I'm going to take a look at a brand new early access game which is really quite intriguing to me so I bought the game and played it. About 20 bucks is the original price. It's on sale for about 18 bucks on Steam but the game is called Maelstrom. Arcadey MOBA style Navy ship battle game. Right now the only mode in the game is the last man standing type of gameplay but judging from what I've seen so far it looks like they're going to add other game modes and also create teams. All sorts of fun in this game so we're going to see what comes out in the future. When you start playing Maelstrom, there is three different races you can pick from right now. Uh, Undead will be coming later on. As for other races, we're not sure yet, but hopefully we'll get Elves and other race. Uh, for now, there's three races, each with their own three ships. There's going to be a small ship, a medium ship, and a large ship. Each of these ships for each different race has their own abilities and have their own weaknesses and also their strong points. For example, one of the human ship, the smaller ship, would be the fastest one when it's out of combat it has the ability to go even faster door ship that shoots and knock back ships and then you have the giant ship that actually repairs armor when it's out of combat but of course all these have a sacrifice depending on the type of ship you pick for example the bigger ship are slower but smaller ship are faster and so on each of these ships are very very unique if you look on the top right that is where you choose your captains and your mates think of captains as special abilities when you pick a captain you gain that special ability. For example, on the human side, you have a captain that can shoot a phoenix, causes fire, burn sails. And on the orc side, you have a captain that can slow down turn rates and even slow ships down. As for doors, you have a captain that can actually lay mines and so on. So all the captains are unique on your playstyle, and it looks like they're going to be adding new moves to the captain later on. As for mates in the game, they are a bit of a buff to your ship. They give you special abilities depending on which mate you put in the ship and which one you unlock as you play the game. You unlock more and more mates. Think of it as armors and gear. Depending on the mates that you put in there, it will affect your ship just slightly, but not too much of an advantage. And on the bottom right, that's where you upgrade your ship as you play the game. The unlocks itself give you a bit of customization to your cannons. You'll shoot different cannons. Maybe you want longer cannons, but less damage, or maybe you want a top speed but you're gonna sacrifice armor and so on. So far from what I've played in the game, it seems fairly balanced. Now that you know what goes on in the front screen of the game and what units you can pick, let's go ahead and jump into the game itself and talk about the game. As for the game itself, it runs on Unreal 4 engine, which looks fantastic. By the way, the water looks great and the entire map looks amazing. I just love the graphics of this game. It has this steampunk feeling to it. Now let's get into the main gameplay itself. As for the game, in order to kill your opponents, there are three ways to kill your opponents in this game. First way is to knock down their armor and then attack their hull, which will kill their ship. The second way is to actually dwindle down their crew member and then board their ship. And by doing so, you destroy the ship. The third way to do it is environmental. There are leviathans in the game, there are maelstroms in the game, and I've seen a giant monster that's just hanging in the middle of the map. That's another way to destroy players. You can also bump into the rock, but that's the third way to kill your enemies. Now, when we get into the game, we're going to take a look at the lobby room itself. The lobby room holds 15 players. If not all 15 players are there, bots will fill up the space. So there will always be 15 players in the game. I'm just showing you guys some of the graphic settings for now. I heard they're taking, they're giving you an option to work with Bloom later on, so you can turn that off if you don't like it. Anyways, let's talk about how the combat system in the game works. If you face the camera a certain direction, that is how you attack with the ship. Now the thing about the ship is cannon loads in different areas. It's all separate loading. So for the human ship, you can only fire left and right. Orc ship, you can fire in front of you left and right. Dwarf ship are omnidirectional. So if you spin your ship, you can take advantage and do more shots on each side. If you take a look at the ship itself, it is covered in a round ring of white. That is the armor. And of course, it's split into different sections, so depending on where you're hit, that section brings down the armor and goes down. Looking at the available cannons you have on the bottom left, number one is your main cannons, that takes down armor. Number two is the chain shot, which takes down sail, it does blue damage. And number three is grape shot, which does damage to the crew members. And for right clicking, that's going to be the boarding. When the enemy is low on red or it's almost out of red and you board them, you can actually destroy the ship this way. This is another strategy for a really tough ship with really tough armors. And of course the space bar on the bottom left uh, that you see the little phoenix symbol is our special ability from our captain. So now that the match has begun, we're going to go right into it.
You can see right in front of me, those are NPCs. These guys are special because you want to destroy them since they drop certain buffs that you want to collect and these buff stacks. The yellow shields are for armor, the red pistols are for firepower, and of course the blue anchor is for speed. Those are the three main ones. As you kill enemies, you also notice that they also drop treasure chests. Now, you don't drop any of this stuff until you die or you finish the game, so it resets after every match. Of course, the treasure chest themselves, you only get 40% of the loot if you die in this game. What does it mean? It means that if you die or you kill an enemy, they drop all the buffs they collect or all the treasure chests they had on them, and you want to collect that. At the end of the round, whoever the last person to die is, the winner takes all. But as you can see right here, I am actually in fog. Fog is a very, very strategic play in this game. What you can do is actually break line of sight from enemies or go invisible. They can't see you when you're in fog, and of course you can set up for ambush there. You can do some really strategic play. As far as I know, I've seen fog, I've seen the giant monster, which is represented by that skull right there on the map, mini-map, if you look at the mini-map, that giant monster, I don't know the purpose of it yet, but it can be pulled, have a chase after you, have it slam on players, it's not too hard to run away from, but it is useful for creating some chaos in the gameplay. And during the match, you'll also notice white currents on the bottom of the ship, those white currents can speed up your ship, it's kind of like a boost line, and of course if you go against it, you're going to be slowed. And yes, hitting the environment rocks and so on are very bad. It actually damages your armor, so you have to be careful. The only time that you can heal up your armor is when you're out of combat in the hole itself. But at least the crew and the sail is continuously healing just a bit. I almost forgot the second way to actually repair your ship is to destroy a treasure galleon or to take out other enemy players. By doing so, you get a green hammer that drops, and if you collect it, it slowly repairs everything for your ship. And that's pretty much the explanation of the entire game itself. Now that you guys understand it, it's really simple to learn, but it can get very strategic. As you play the game, the balance is pretty good, and the idea in this game is pretty fresh. As you can see on the map itself, the red lines that are showing up, that's the map closing in. Eventually what's going to happen is the dead water comes in. If you're outside the dead water, you're going to almost instantly die because there's going to be giant monsters that jump out of there and kill you. Anyways, now that I've explained the game to you guys, you guys should go definitely pick up this game and play it for yourself. As you can tell, it is a very, very fun game, especially when you play it with friends. The other thing about this game, it was a kickstarted game, so now that it's on Steam, we're going to see more support, and hopefully the support for this game comes true to a point where we'll get the single-player campaign. That would be nice. There's a whole roadmap for this game up, and also the oath about this game is nice. The fact that they aren't putting out DLCs that you have to pay for, or costumes, and and general aesthetic that's all available in the game as long as you own the game and that is already very very generous and shows that this company is not really greedy and not only that but a lot of the designers to this game has worked on other games like overwatch and league of legends and so on so they have a pretty steep background on game design especially in the department of competitive gaming aside from that i'm going to try to kill this guy real quick and i'm going to use the rotation of the maelstrom as long as i don't go in there i won't die but you're going to see a lot of clips from my other gameplay where i've had some really really fun time and i've enjoyed it no matter if i win or lose oh and also the best thing about this game is if you do indeed die you can quickly leave the game itself or you can stay and spectate you're not forced to stay the entire match Anyways, after this match, what you guys are going to see is that it's going to add up the points that I've earned during this battle, uh, the loot itself, and give me a certain amount of infamy towards a chest I can open to get a new captain or a crewmate, and that's pretty much the reward for playing the game is unlocking crewmates, earning money, upgrading ship and more stuff to come later on so we're looking forward to it anyways guys thank you for watching uh, hopefully this will give you more insight on the game itself very fun game to play feels very fresh and like i said more things to come in the future remember to subscribe hit the bell to get notified i'm gonna try to push all these people into the maelstrom there goes another ship into the maelstrom i shot the other guy sail earlier he couldn't move so that's the strategy is to play around with this maelstrom that's hilarious uh and then i got Oh man, there's three of us left. We must make it out on the top. I'm trying my best here. See, the thing about this ship, remember, is that it's super weak, but it's very fast. It has good firing rates. But once the armor goes down, I am open for pure death. So I'm going to go ahead and try to trick all these guys into the maelstrom a bit and 
take out their sails and push them in. That's my plan. I know it's dirty, but strategies. I'm trying to get all these armor buffs and firepower buff. He's got it. Damn. Taking out his sails real quick. That's the strategy as usual. We're going to try to take down sails. I don't want him to hook on me because I don't have a lot of crew members. I only have a hundred crew members. I can easily get hooked and then destroyed. He is also taking out my sails it seems because I see my sails going down. Blue is, oh no, he got me. He's hooked. Alright, all I can do is take the battle and keep taking out sail. There's a third guy just waiting for it. He's, he's being smart, he's letting us dish it out. He's coming in from the side. Gotta keep firing at them. Oh, they're both dishing it out with each other right now. He's trying to take my kill, but I don't care. I can fire him on the side. He's a really fast ship, too. That's, um... The orc ship. That's the, that's the medium orc ship because it has two sharks guiding it. So... Lots of orc players in this game. I notice orcs are very, very popular. I'm gonna do a little bit of a ram on him. Ram him a bit. Try to get some, oh, looks like his left side is down on armor. He's trying to use the maelstrom to get away. I'm gonna chase after him. My sails are repairing due to my, um, bit of a buff I had with the crewmate. Gives me a bit more sail repairs, but it's not too bad. You see how I'm using the force of the maelstrom to fling myself to the other side. There's another fight going on here. There is this treasure galleon right there. He's trying to take it down because he knows he can use it to repair. He is trying to take down my crew members. I'm down to 43. This can literally destroy me if I let him do this, so I have to get away for a bit. I'm gonna go ahead and get away from this battle real quick, do some more damage on his sails, and then get away from him. He's on cooldown for boarding, so I can harass him a bit because I'm faster. Of course, I can try to take down this treasure galleon and collect the repair. It's down to the two of us now because the other guy somehow got killed. I'm pretty sure he died because he went into the maelstrom since his stuff is floating. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I got the greedy. Oh, no. Oh, no. I went into dark waters and I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Those monsters are coming. Crap. Oh my god, the more dark waters. I don't want to get too close to the ship. Oh. And that's it, folks. That's the end of the game. But hey, that was a good battle, right? That was a great battle. Um, unfortunately, I didn't stay inside long enough for the monsters to attack him, so I got hit first because I got greedy going for all the other stuff. Um, but there you go. You earned the loot, the infamy, and that's a crew member I earned from gaining second place or infamy, I guess. And uh, then my infamy goes all the way up right here, and I get a chest, open this chest, either I get a captain or a crew member. Damn. Anyways, here comes the clips from some of the best moments I've seen in this game. Thank you for watching again. No, no, no. Get away from him. He's mine. Squiggle is mine, okay? He attacked me first. He's mine. Get away. <clears throat> Come here, Squiggle. Ooh. Armor's down. We're going for the kill. Let's do this. two people fighting near the tides. These guys are idiots. I am gonna take out their sails. Oh my god.
god, the tide is coming in. I'm out of here. Nope. You guys can stay here and fight. Oh wait, you have no sails. <laughs> Dwarfs don't use sails, buddy. We got steam engine. Oh, there's the monster. Oh, I got away. Oh, those two are dead. They are so dead. I'm not even gonna go for their loot. Oh, there goes one. Where's the second one? The second one's coming. That monster's on him. It's coming back. It's coming back for the kills. Dun -dun. Dun -dun. Oh, there it is. Oh. Oh, let me type this guy real quick. He got to know he got wrecked. Oh, where did he come from? Holy crap. Steve, your days are numbered. You thought that I was small and that I'm weak? You can pick on me. I'll take out your sails. Oh, he just tried to board me. Oh, no. Oh, no, Steve. It's going down. I'm going to circle you. I'm going to fire at you. Oh, crap. Oh, nice. I, I bumped him away. No boarding. Oh, no. I'm, I'm not done with you, Steve. Still okay, he's trying to take out my crew members. Still circling around Steve. Trying to maneuver on the current. This is tough. Steve, not today. It's over. Damn, this guy curates. No, he was mon. Kill the game creators. The game creators is in this match. I'm gonna try to kill him. He's going down. He's fighting with this dude. I'm fighting him too. You know what happened to people with Twitch? They die first. Everyone killed the Twitcher. I'm going for the Twitcher. And embarrass him on stream. Oh! Oh god, he's in he's in dark waters. Get away! Oh he's gonna die. At least we got the Twitcher. <laughs> oh my god. Now this, this is a ship battle in the makings. Oh, this guy's still chasing me. Wanna step on the mines? There's one, there's one. Oh, he rammed me. Oh, there's one. We got one down. This guy right next to me is about to die. Got him. Oh, no, no, I didn't get him. Oh, oh, got him. Finally. Look at all that loot. This guy, too. You want some? 
Oh, that loot. No! I'm so big and slow, but so deadly. There's only three players left. I think I can do this. Ah. Oh my god, this dark water is moving in fast. I gotta get out of here. Oh. 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 About to die. It's creeping in. Get on the current. Get on the current. Yes! Got away. Right into the fog. Take this buff real quick. Just gotta stay alive. This tide is moving in so fast right now. What is going on? I'm gonna stay right here. Just hide it out a little bit. Can't find where the last guy is. I can kill him, I can win this. Oh, this is bad. I don't wanna go this way. Turn around, turn around. So close, where is he? I can't find him. He's gotta be hiding somewhere. Holy crap, did I win? I won! Yes!